What is up everybody, welcome back to my channel Mystic Watch and today we got a delayed update notice, the 6, 9, what is, what is this, June, June 9th update notice, so the notice was on time, I'm just doing the update in the morning, the update is already live and there's a bunch of stuff going on, so let's go through everything. First of all, new hero, no I don't want to, okay, creation fighter DN, okay we got a new DN here. And it's another mini DN, similar to the regular Fighter DN or Matrona DN, if you have her. So this is the first, like, summonable, like, on her own banner DN. It's actually a really good thing, just because she is a Fate Link with King. So if you are someone who needs dupes, and this is probably for people who spend more money, uh, but I'm gonna try to get a couple of copies of her so I have a solid 6-6 unit as a Fate Link for my King going forward. Besides that, she is a decent unit, and she used to be absolutely broken before they changed how taunts work in this game. And I mean, uh, it's not that relevant now, but we'll go over a character and I'll explain a little bit. So, Dien... Taunts enemies and creates a barrier equal to 300% defense at the start of battle. And then same thing here is her move taunts enemies increases defense related stats by 80% for 3 turns. And it goes 120 to 200%. Now the thing is, this move was really really strong in conjunction with her uh, passive. And you would do ult rush with her on the team and you would just taunt. And you wouldn't be able to get rid of the ultimate gauge off of uh, whoever. Like, let's say you're running King Brum. And you're running, let's just say you're running King, King Hellbrum DM, right? So no go there. And you ultimate rush and you have uh, whatever, King's ultimate. And you're like, oh, I want to uh, remove King's ultimate gauge or petrify him or do whatever. But DM is taunting you. You wouldn't be able to actually click on King's character, even if you could remove the taunt from Dien. It would just force you to use all your moves on Dien, and then, uh, yeah, like, it, it just, you just couldn't do anything about it. So the, the AI would, like, randomly pick targets for you. But they changed this so that now you can actually click on whoever you want, and if there's a taunt, then it goes to the taunt first. But if you remove the taunt, then it works the way you want it to work. <laughs> But yeah, either way, she's still a super strong character. I wouldn't recommend... Like, she's not strong to the point where it's like, oh, it's a must summon. Maybe like Demon Meliodas or someone like that. But strong strong enough, right? It's just a good banner, good unit. There are sins on there, and Escanor is on the banner. The, her rate is slightly higher as well. It's 0.6 instead of 0.5. Because it's only the sins on here. So, uh, it's actually... It's like a decent banner, but... I don't know, I, it's like we don't get Sims banners too often, so it might be a good opportunity to summon, but we just had Valenti, we just had Demon Meliodas, so I don't know how many gems uh, the average player is going to have right now, probably not that many. It's probably best to save at this point for someone like Blue Lilia. But besides that, I think this is a decent enough skip banner, give you some time to recoup from uh, everything going on. So, let's take a look at the events, celebrations. 100 day global drop, 100 day exchange shop, bingo ticket, ticket event, bingo something, gold reach event, secret box, deathmatch reward. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to show you in game, because that's, uh, that's a little bit easier, right? Let's uh, swap over to here. If you go here and you go to 100 day, why is the phone ringing? Okay, so from here, in this menu, you can actually see all- and this is going to be pretty common from now on. Uh, there usually will be like a menu like this whenever events happen, and it'll- It's just a bunch of buttons for you to click on to figure out what's going on. Over here, you can see all the buffs and the things that are going on. 100 day celebration, increased number of rewards from boss battle, death matches, and free stage. It's pretty much just telling you that when you complete it, you'll get some sort of ticket or extra thing to use. Deathmatch reward times two, host bonus times two. This is really good, and you can stack this with your um, like two x, you know, raid material or raid food. So if you're low on materials, which I am low on red demon horns, 
you can this is a really good opportunity to catch up deathmatch rate increase you get up a little bit earlier dn's equipment salvage event super and ultra success upon equipment salvage really really good it means you want to plus five your material before disenchanting them that way you can get plenty of ssr crystals hero enhanced super ultra success rate that's always nice now is that the same thing yep yeah. okay 100 day celebration mission gives you five hammers if you clear everything Share on social media, don't care about that. Bingo event. Not enough tickets. I have to see where to get these tickets for the bingo from. But there's a lot of rewards here. And a lot of good ones as well. You're getting uh, like all these anvils. Six star, uh, whatever blood I guess. Not the, not the blood. Water of life. I need demon's blood. I have so many water of lives. I got two of these, but I, I can make like another ten. And then, yeah, I think these are just really good rewards for the bingo. If you go to, well, what's this? Oh, training cave, training cave. I'm not used to it being called training grotto. I will always call it training cave. And then here's a once a day thing that gives you those. Oh, okay, this is how you get them. You get tickets from here. And I gotta find out if you can get them from anywhere else. Please, click. That's fine. Okay. You can do that once a day. And yeah, just, just within that, there's a decent amount of stuff for you to do. But, we also have the exchange, which gives us the cosmetics. So you get these tickets from doing your dailies, like, uh, you know, you do your free stages, your SP dungeons, your boss battles, you'll, you'll pick these things up. So I was just doing my SP dungeons, and I already have a decent amount of these things. And these are a lot of free costumes, so make sure you clear this entire thing out if you can. Uh, furniture. I wonder if any of these have effects because I know there is one that increases the death duration that's out and I want to see which one that is let's actually take a look at that okay go to Hawk Hawk where are you my friend uh, no I guess it's one of those but it won't let me take a look. Okay, that's fine. Maybe it'll pop up in here uh, during the patch notes. So let's go back to the patch notes. Training cave. I'm gonna do a separate video on this, but pretty much, you can see from the picture here, it is, you see number nine on top. It's three fights. There's 12 fights in total. And each one, uh, everything here is ungeared. And when you complete a fight, those units are locked out. And you can usually do this like once a week. But if you finish it super fast, like you can do it... Let me... Let me, let me show you. So. It automatically resets every week, right? But if you finish it, you'll get an extra crystal recharge or whatever within five days. So the earliest you can do this is every five days. Here's the little explanation they give you. You can take a look, but I'll explain it myself. You can see here at the bottom, you'll go in, there's a bunch of crystals. And let's actually just go in and show you. And you'll see that it's different levels. Different levels give you different rewards. But at the end of the day, as long as you complete all the battles, you will get all these hammers. So what are, what are the actual rewards that you are getting from these? Well, I can just show you from here. I don't know if it'll show me the reward. Yeah, okay. So you can see here that I have like a 30% chance at... Excuse me. At a hammer, anvil whatever so on so on so on now if i go down to a level one it 
Same rewards, just less amount. Now the main difference is, when you complete three battles, right, so you see here that they're divided in threes, every three battles you actually fight like a, it's known as like a yellow match, or mirror match, or I don't know what the heck the term they use. And you fight one of the three teams that you just, uh, like one of your own teams, you essentially fight, right? You do three matches, and one of the three teams you, you used uh, in those three matches, you have to fight that team. And I think it's it's always the third fight. I, I could be wrong on that. I just don't remember. But yeah, all I know, it's one of the three teams. You fight them, and the reverse matches, or whatever, give you engraving stones. And that's the important part. So the benefit of doing level three is that you will be able to fight level three mirror matches or yellow matches and th those give you the most engraving stones and I don't know if level 1 has engraving stones or not but I think level 2 does with the lesser amount and once you finish uh, all 12 matches you know that's it for training cave come back in five days but it's really good uh, keep in mind that when you complete a match it locks your units out so I will do a separate thing on this where I ex explain the different teams and who to use and things like that okay going down going down Okay. Yeah, they mentioned a little bit about uh, the engraving. You are engraving stones. If you want to do it, you go to Merlin, you select a piece of equipment, and you can upgrade it to UR. So, the way you are engraving works is you can only raise the rarity of a single unit or a single piece once. So, whatever it is. It's not like you can take a, a common equipment all the way up to UR. It only goes up once. So only SSR equipment can turn into UR, and they have to be 5 star plus 5 for you to UR them. And it can only work on the characters that are currently allowed to get UR engravings. Because UR gear isn't universal. If you make UR gear, you're making it specifically for one character to use, and if you put it on that character, they get an extra bonus. If you put it on anyone else, it's just regular SSR gear to them. Don't freeze. Okay. Oh, I don't care, Hawk. Whatever. And here's the amount required to make it. So, most common is the SSR into you are, and ten pieces. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't care, Hawk. Please. Okay. You can also reset the gear in case you like made a mistake or you don't, uh, you know, like, oh, I shouldn't have put it on this person, I should have built it on someone else. But you will not get the engraving stones back. It'll just reset the piece. Okay. Hammers. Hammers are great. They take whatever line you have and they simply increase the percent. That's it. They're, they are absolutely amazing. They're super rare and one of the best things in this game. But there's a chance it can fail. So keep that in mind. But it'll never it'll never decrease your your stat. It can only ever increase it. And keep in mind that they also added these to the equipment draw. So now if you're ever doing equipment summons or gotch, uh, equipment gotch, you can actually get the hammers from there as well. Okay, yes, thank you. I just wanted to show off these are the heroes. Meliodas will probably be soon in the next batch, but these are all like decent people to do. Uh, if I was going to recommend, like I, I usually do Dien just because uh, she's there for my CC team. That's like a personal thing. If you want in terms of efficient, like people that are, you're, you're actually going to use, uh, I would I, I would just save for now for Meliodas and do and use him first. But Gil Thunder is a, is a decent one. So let's go back. Hammers, 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 and then they fixed the, or they updated a lot of the bundles for any of you whales, which works out for me. So a lot of the bundles are updated to give more anvils, right? Right, right? Anvils, anvils, look at that. Look at all these anvils and hammers. And then these exist too. But, yeah, kind of expensive. So, I wouldn't worry too much about these, but here we go. Ooh, what's this? That's fine. Oh, this is... Uh, that's, a, that's a good gem bundle. 
that's it for now. I'll probably do a Dian summoning video, but a lot of the stuff I'm going to do is going to be probably training cave, covering the UR gear, covering uh, anvils and hammers, things like that. That's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Go have fun on the update. Do things. Peace out.